Was that even a great surprise? Not really, to be honest. As a club, we fully deserve to get beat for the fact that our board, our hierarchy, decided to give Louis van Gaal two more games to save his job. What is the point? How long before he has to save his job again? Well, not very long because he's already lost 2-0 to Stoke. Now, full credit to Stoke. Could have and probably should have been even more than that. A cracking goal from an art of it. Ugh from Inotovic for the second goal and brilliant work for the first one from Bojan, nice team goal to be honest and yeah United, what? Nothing really, wasn't very much, uh, Herrera had a few pot shots, at least he tried but what can he do when he's only had about 60 minutes in two months even though he's one of our best players, who does that? Now, people blaming the squad, yes the squad have to take some blame but the majority of the blame has to go down to the manager, Louis van Gaal, his tactics are so outdated, it's hurting the squad, All right, his system, everything is just wrong. I mean, he, he um, it was said that he'd changed things prior to this game, he'd lowered the workload for the training, he'd uh, allowed the team to eat when they wanted and who with who they wanted because apparently it was like a team thing that he forced them to do at a certain time of day and all this, all the rules had been relaxed didn't change a thing. On the pitch, our first half was probably the worst half of football we've had and that, that includes maybe even Moyes' reign. I mean, it was almost as bad as, the, as Moyes' final game which ended 2-0 two, uh, two to Everton in that day, but yeah, I had more confidence going into the game against Bayern Munich under David Moyes than I did at this game going up against Stoke City. This is the first time I've predicted Manchester United to lose a game before we've played it and yeah, uh, that just shows a lack of confidence. I might not have done a video on it, but I said it to my mates. I also put it on Twitter before the game that I thought we'd lose 2-1. Still better that and beat us 2-0. As I said before, perhaps should have been even more. They outplayed us in every area of the pitch. And yet, Lou Van Hal has to go. There is no ifs or buts. But because our club made the dumb decision to give him this game, particularly because it's Boxing Day, we have a game against Chelsea in two days, so chances are he might even be in the touch, uh, at the dugout for Manchester United against Chelsea, which will just put us further back because we aren't winning against them. I know they're drawing 2-2 currently to Watford, but still, you know, they haven't had the best season, but they'll probably still beat us because we just look absolutely shambolic under Louis van Gaal. And yeah, we, we won't have time to hire someone else. If it is, it'll be Giggs as an interim. And yeah, it, it might be better than Louis van Gaal, at least he goes on to the touchline and, you know, he barks his orders so the squad can see that he actually shows desire, passion, determination, fight, which is something that seems to be outlawed under Louis van Gaal, but still, we should and could have had Jose Mourinho in by now, but because we've waited, we've only got two days to play Chelsea, and yet, there's not enough time. So hopefully we'll get him for the new year, he'll have the January transfer window to work with, and also it'll be the start of Europa and start of FA Cup, so, you know, the, the season can be rescued. Now the target has to be top four, because by three points behind Spurs, who are now in the top four, they've cemented, well, they haven't cemented it, obviously, but they're three points into it, I doubt we're going to get top well, we're not going to finish top, but we probably won't get second either. So third, fourth is where we'll be battling for this season, which is fair enough given how poor we've been recently. So if we can get in the top four, that will be a success with the new manager. But Louis van Gaal has to go. He's had too many chances, all right? He's had an illustri illustrious career where he's been successful, and I congratulate him for that. I congratulate him and thank him for the first season of Manchester United, getting us back in the Champions League, getting us steady, stable, but then it should have evolved, it should have developed, we should have progressed, but no, we didn't, we went backwards, so that is when you've got to say goodbye to the manager, and yeah, he'll retire on a dull note, but that's the way it's got to be, his successes were in the 90s, so he can look back on past glories, he was once a top quality manager, no one denies that, but now tactics are, uh, are outdated, he's failed to adapt, which is something Sir Alex Ferguson was perfect at, I'm not comparing him to Sir Alex Ferguson, I'm just saying, he's a once in a lifetime coach to be honest, he is the only manager in history to consistently um, rebuild. That is the hardest thing to do. You have to rebuild your clubs. When players get uh, old, you have to bring in the youngsters, but you have to time that right. You have to get the right amount, get the right balance, and Ferguson did that over and over and over again, which is why he was such a success. Yes, he didn't start off well, but people saying that about Van Gaal, 
he's quite old now anyway he's what 63 64 so I d he might be even older than that so I doubt he would have any lasting legacy anyway he would have only stayed at Manchester United one more year so we're not hurting any long term things at the club and yeah Jose Mourinho might be a temporary manager or something you would call that but who knows maybe something will happen maybe he'll change and maybe the third season could be different but to be honest I'd take a Jose Mourinho first and second season every day of the week because it's guaranteed success really so yeah Jose Mourinho in Louis van Gaal out let me know what you think of that but yeah this has gone far enough seven games Without a win, that's the first time in 54 years it hasn't happened in the Premier League era. I'm sorry, Louis van Gaal, out now.